Hey, what's up guys? One of the SoFi's technical analysis. So first up, let's start with the one hour chart for today. You'll notice the RSI is still pretty high. This is, you know, very common with a lot of smaller cap stocks. In fact, it's actually pretty common in, in every stock right now. RSI is pretty overbought. But if you look at the MACD, there is a bullish divergence over here. So we have a rising stock price while the MACD is sort of in the red. And there is typically a bullish signal here. So it's looking very bullish on that one hour chart. I would expect more upside, even though once again, the majority of the market right now is heavily, heavily overbought. So just once again, watch out for that. But I'm not going to be uh, prepared for any of it. I'm not going to sell my stocks. I'm just going to let the market retrace if if that if it if it even retraces right. So next up, let's look at the one day chart, and you'll notice so far is in a sort of rising pattern right now. So what I would do with so far is that I would just wait right now. You can see that RSI is in a bullish direction, and it is you know rising up. Now, how long can it rise up for, and and at what price? I'm not sure. But the next resistance we're going to hit is about $9. So just watch out for that. And the other thing I want to talk about is that a lot of the inv institutional investors are actually piling into SoFi. You can see that Citadel uh, actually bought more SoFi here. It looks like they increased their stake by 632%. Uh, that seems like a lot. And you can see over here, Vanguard actually did uh, something similar. They bought about 68 million shares of SoFi. Now, I think this could be argued that um, Vanguard might just be buying this for their brokerage. I'm actually not sure where this is coming from, but it is a fact that they are buying SoFi stock. And you'll notice that RK is also buying SoFi stock. So you can see over here, RK bought about 2.5 million um, shares of SoFi yesterday. So this is 15th of February. And what this just means is that we are probably going to see more inflows into SoFi. And I know the stock price has been beaten down, but we are still on an uptrend, even though it's been, once again, beaten down, which is actually a good thing because it just gave us a lot more time to buy shares. And that's what I did, right? So um, yeah, we are probably going to be on an uptrend now. I'm not sure um, how long this will be because once again, market is just like overheated right now but yeah so far it's looking pretty good that's all i can say for this video at least i'm not saying that you should buy or anything i'm just saying on the one hour chart and on the one day chart it both looks very very good so yeah uh, whoever has so far shares be prepared for a uptrend um do what you want with the stock maybe you want to sell it i would probably not recommend that because um, we've seen what happened with Palantir and you all know what happened when it sold too early, right? So, you know, I'm pretty sure so far it's probably going to hit this peak of about $9 if anything. And then it will probably move up above that if the market mo momentum continues. Um, but that's just my guess, okay? That's not, that's not, don't trade off me. So thank you guys for watching, like, and subscribe and see you in the next one. Oh, also... I dropped the shit on my mic just now. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it doesn't make things worse. In fact, I think it might actually have fixed some things. I don't know.